So in order to do this, um, this, this looks kind of complicated right here. We, we just need to simplify it a little bit or I guess make it more uh, palpable um, just to kind of show you guys um, some of the characteristics that we can sort of take advantage of. These nodes here being uh, malleable, essentially letting us move the circuit however we want. So this is completely the same circuit as was before. Uh, we only stretched out that middle part right there, the nine ohm resistor right there. This one's six ohms, six ohms, uh, five ohms, 24 ohms, 10 ohms, uh, 15 ohms. Sixty ohms. All right. So this is basically the same circuit as this right here. We just kind of simplified it a little bit. Now, doing uh, the same thing we did before. Uh, we just need to find this, the parallel resistance of that. So, um, R one right here is going to be equal to. Um, I showed you guys these formulas right here um this one for parallel um this one for series but um whenever you just have two of these right here it's often easier just to write it the two different uh resistances like so um it gets a lot more complicated for three and so on so usually just just when you have two of these right here um, it's, it's much more convenient to do this than to put into your calculator um, this whole thing right here. So, I mean, use it as you see fit. They're both right. So uh, I'm just going to put these in here. And we get 12 ohms. Now, um, so yeah, we have 12 ohms right here. That can be added to six ohms in series right here. If you can just imagine that being 12 ohms, that's what our circuit would look like. We can add these two now because we just simplified this into one, one resistance. So 12 plus six is 18 ohms. So now just imagine this right here. Um, being in parallel, this whole circuit right here, uh, being in parallel, a parallel resistance to this resistance right here. So uh, we're gonna use the same parallel formula again, uh, this time 18 and nine ohms, 18 plus nine ohms, 18 times nine, 18 plus 9, it's going to be 6 ohms. Now we can add that in series with this whole circuit right here. This whole circuit is 6 ohms. Add that in series to this. So plus 6, 6 ohms plus 6 ohms is 12 ohms right there. Um, once again, it's in parallel with this 24 ohms right here. So we're going to use that simpler formula again, 24, 24 times 12 ohms. I'm just going to erase that right there. Um, I mean, yeah, you could write the units as you want. That's what the units are going to be. Um, this one, 24 ohms plus 12 ohms. Um, you know, as you can see, they kind of cancel out just, you know, in case you were wondering. Um, we get 8 ohms now. So now we're finally at this last circuit. We 
this being 8 ohms and this being 10 ohms, while this is 5 ohms. Now, these are all in series, so it's just going to be 10 plus 8 plus 5 ohms. 10 plus 8 plus 5 ohms is equal to 23 ohms. So this